15 photos of unbelievable ocean of discoveries. There are two places that we know of that we really know very little about. One of them is outer space. And the other is the ocean. There are so many fascinating things found in the ocean that it's no wonder a few people have been wanting to go to space. All manner of creatures, cities, artifacts, people and more have been discovered down there. And just to give a few examples of these things, there is an alleged millennium falcon down there. There are angels. Tons of Nazi silver. There are even government meetings held in the depths of the ocean. It is a very mysterious, strange and secretive place. But today we're going to talk about some of these oddities and learn a bit about them. Like the crop circles on the ocean floor. Were these really made by aliens? How is a fat guy kicking back watching TV down there? Did China really drown an entire city less than 100 years ago just to build a dam? Are there still pieces of the moon landing mission buried below the ocean? And let's not forget about the spiders and the ice finger of death. 15. The Sculpture City Don't worry, this isn't actually some fat guy enjoying a burger in front of the TV who was drowned and turned to stone. No. It's actually just one of many sculptures that have been purposely submerged to the ocean floor off of Cancun. Off the coast of Cancun, Mexico, there is a sculpture park that can only be seen by those willing to plunge into the Caribbean Sea. Brave divers can feast their eyes on over 500 statues, according to Viral Nova I have to admit that this is probably a pretty good way to get people into diving. Of course, there are more exciting things I could think to look at underwater than a fat guy watching TV. But as said above, there are over 500 sculptures that have plunged into the depths. Essentially, there has been a small village of stone people created off the coast of Mexico. 14. Lion City, China Yes, this shot looks absolutely photoshopped, but I assure you that this city is real. The city is complete with a bunch of temples, grand archways, fully paved roads, entire residential areas and more. Some call it China's real-life Atlantis. This is Lion City, found 130 feet below the surface of a lake. The city used to be an economic and political hub of the Chinese province of Zhejiang. That's right. This isn't necessarily a newly discovered ancient city. Not even 100 years ago the Chinese government decided it would be best to displace thousands of people and disrupt an entire economic system in order to create a new dam. So now plenty of people are struggling to survive. But at least divers have a fun place to go. 13. The Millennium Falcon. No, this is obviously not the Millennium Falcon. However, the resemblance is striking. The truth is that no one really knows what this thing is. But they have some idea of what it does. Anything electric out there, and the satellite phone as well, stopped working when we were above the object. And then we got away about 200 meters and it turned on again, and when we got back over the object it didn't work, says diver Stefan Hojerborn. Of course, these same divers said they could measure the strange temperature there with their computers so it's hard to really tell if this is a hoax or not. But let's say it isn't. What could it be then? A lot of people no shock here, think it's a UFO. It's certainly unidentified as well as an object but it definitely isn't flying. Maybe it did once though. Who knows? My money is on Nazi weapons. 12. Man finds 80 pounds of emeralds. James Kovach, of Key West, Florida bought a treasure map from a friend in a bar in 2010. Part-time treasure hunter and amateur diver, Ms. Kovach went on to discover a multi-million dollar fortune in emeralds deep in the Gulf of Mexico. The exact origin of the emeralds is still unknown. But when a 60-minute segment of the find hit the public airwaves, it drew the attention of federal investigators, according to Adi. He had found over 80 pounds of emeralds. In spite of this incredible find, it seems that the poor guy couldn't handle the stress of a federal investigation. Nor could he wait to get any of the money from his find. Miskovic killed himself before seeing a single cent of his treasure. It's crazy to think of such an amazing find driving someone to suicide. But I guess some people just can't handle the pressure, I don't mean water pressure. 11. Government Meetings? Now, 
This takes some big brass ones to do. President Mohammad Nasheed of the Maldives held an underwater cabinet meeting to discuss climate change and its effect on oceans, reports the Daily Mail. I think we now know where this guy stands on climate change. If you're willing to subject your entire cabinet to an underwater session to discuss climate change, then you must believe in it. I knew there were paper and ink that work when wet, but I had no idea that it would still be effective on the ocean floor. And yet, here is Nasheed signing off on some document. They even made nameplates so that the media could know who was who when covering the event. This might not be a strange underwater discovery, but it's definitely strange and underwater. 10. Tons of Nazi Silver There was a pail of over 61 tons of silver pulled up from the depths of the Atlantic. With an estimated worth of $36 million, the silver comes from Britain's SS Garrisopit. This was a vessel that was sunk by the Nazis in 1941. Downed off the coast of Ireland, people never thought they'd find the ship again. It seems that it's paid off that they have. Especially since the amount of silver recovered so far is only about 20% of the whole amount. Apparently there is about 240 tons in total. That's a lot of money. So, this might not be Nazi silver but what else would the Brits have been doing with such a cargo load? I imagine it was stolen from one side or the other. Either way, if only 20% has been salvaged of the whole payload, I suggest going down there to make a little money. 9. Ice Finger of Death Nature can be pretty damn creepy sometimes. It's amazing just what can be found in this world. There is a phenomenon that is known very scientifically as the ice finger of death. Basically what happens is when brine sinks and becomes colder and colder, it freezes separately from the ocean around it. The brine is more dense than the surrounding waters. How terrifying is that? It's like the touch of death is just lingering in the ocean. It's strange how our physical world works. Imagine exploring the ocean floor, only to find this icy hand reaching out, pointing out at whatever it is. I'm sure some people think there's treasure where the finger points. And given how much treasure there really is buried in the ocean floor dot it could be true. 8. Apollo 11 Rocket Engine Because he has more money than I could imagine, and just because he could the CEO of Amazon decided to take a bit of a deep sea adventure. What did he find? Parts of the old Apollo 11 rocket. For those who don't know, that's the mission and the rocket that brought Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong to the moon. One of the conservators who was scanning the objects with a black light and a special lens filter has made a breakthrough discovery-2044 stenciled in black paint on the side of one of the massive thrust chambers, wrote Bezos. 2044 is the rocket dyne serial number that correlates to NASA number 6044, which is the serial number for F1 engine number 5 from Apollo 11. This is certainly a historic discovery. 7. Underwater Crop Circles? The mystery has been solved. Aliens are not responsible for the creation of these remarkable underwater circles discovered in the Pacific Ocean earlier this year. The unknown creator of these advanced circular patterns is in fact a small and very intelligent fish. The mystery circles were discovered by scuba diver Yoji Okada who spotted something he had never encountered before, reports message to Eagle. I'll give you a second to think about what it could be. Okay, does anyone here remember the Simpsons episode where Homer eats a certain type of fish and everyone thinks he's going to die? That's right. These oceanic crop circles are made by the puffer fish. And there's a good reason why they do it too. To attract a mate of course. Basically, the more circles that can be created by one fish, there are greater the puffer's chances for love. 6. The Giant Squid The giant squid remains largely a mystery to scientists despite being the biggest invertebrate on Earth. The largest of these elusive giants ever found measured 59 feet in length and weighed nearly a ton. However, their inhospitable deep-sea habitat has made them uniquely difficult to study, and almost everything scientists know about them is from carcasses that have washed up on beaches or been hauled in by fishermen, according to National Geographic. That being said, the very first footage of a live giant squid was taken in 2004. It's not like there has been a ton more to learn since then. They are still shrouded in great mystery. 
They're much like the blue whale. They are giants of the sea, but it's been damn near impossible to actually get good solid studies of them. But that doesn't stop people from conjuring images of the famed Kraken. 5. The Stonehenge of Lake Michigan Mark Holly and his co-worker Brian Abbott happened across something in the depths of Lake Michigan. Only 40 feet below the surface in the Grand Traverse Bay underwater preserve sits a very odd set of structures. Using their sonar equipment, likely searching for shipwrecks or other forms of debris. They found a giant row of stones that somewhat resembled Stonehenge. On some of these gigantic stones there were what appeared to carvings of prehistoric creatures like mammoths. These stones have been dated back to at least 10,000 years. How could someone get down there to carve back then? What happened to sink these stones? No one knows. But I think it's safe to say these weren't placed there by the druids. 4. Remnants of an exploded star Once upon a time, a star exploded, and a bunch of it ended up in the Pacific Ocean. Of course, when a star explodes, it's no small deal. Especially when scientists believe this specific explosion to be a type 2 supernova. The element iron 60 is released in this type of explosion. Some German scientists found this very element in the remnants of the magnetic bacteria. Now, what the remnants tell us is that this supernova occurred sometime after the formation of the Earth. The rocks have been dated to be younger than the planet which means that it would have likely landed on the Earth 2.7 million years ago. And given the dates and the elements, it is also likely that the star originated somewhere within 50 light years of our current Sun. 3. Underwater Spiders That's right, you can't avoid spiders even if you dive into the depths. But I have to be totally honest here, sorry if I offend any arachnophobes. These spiders are really, really cool. They spend their entire lives underwater and yet they live by breathing in air just like we do. So how the hell could a creature spend all of its days in the depths? Well, it creates air pockets that it can use to continue breathing fresh clean air. You'll notice the massive bubble behind this guys, but do you notice the one that is surrounding his body also? This really is an incredible and mysterious species. I always wonder just how these creatures know how to survive in their surroundings but, of course, fish get by just fine. It's not like they appeared one day and said OSHT I need to figure out how to breathe without air. 2. Blackbeard's Queen Anne's Revenge Some of you may have heard tales of Blackbeard growing up. You might have even played as him when playing pirates as a child. But what has been found in the depths of the ocean? Blackbeard's own Queen Anne's Revenge. This is the ship he was forced to sink because of venturing into shallows and getting stuck. There were reportedly thousands of artifacts discovered with this wreck. Which can't be too surprising considering that Blackbeard was a pirate after all. Part of the booty that the dive team pulled was a collection of 20 or so cannons that would have been used to defend against and oppose British naval vessels. Each of the cannons weighs about 2,000 pounds it's amazing that the ship crew could move such incredibly beastly weapons. It's no wonder that it was stuck so easily when it came too close to the shallows. 1. Angels of the Ocean That's right. Did you know there really are angels and they happen to live in the ocean? No, of course, that's not actually true. I mean, not in any spiritual sense. Especially since these specific angels have horns instead of halos. And it also doesn't help that they're pretty big bullies too. I mean, they're not very big at all in actuality, but they bully other members of the biological family. You might not think it, but this creature is actually a type of sea snail. And what is its favorite food? Why, it's sea snails of course. Why wouldn't it be? That doesn't mean that this angel feeds on other angels. It just loves chomping down on other snails. I'm not quite sure how this thing chomps down on another creature, or digests it, but there you have it. Angels are a real thing dot sort of. 